to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, present the most important news of the day. Monday, January 10th of 2022, with the news that this Monday the 10th will be a non-working day due to the Day of the Holy Kings, the neighborhoods of Santo Domingo begin to prepare to enjoy it to the fullest. Conversations, laugh, and music was the atmosphere in the neighborhoods 27 de Febrero, Capotillo, Simón Bolívar, and Villa Consuelo on the eve of the holiday. Although the Ministry of Education has ratified the restart of a school tomorrow, the president of the Dominican Association of Teachers, ADP, Eduardo Hidalgo, assured that the disinfection and adaptation program has not been started in the educational centers so that the teachers, students, and administrative staff are free of contagion by COVID-19. The affiliate of the Dominican Association of Teachers in the province of Barahona stated that teachers will not start face-to-face -face classes next Tuesday due to the increase in coronavirus infections in the country, despite the call of the Ministry of Education to open educational centers. The interest of Haitians to enter the Dominican Republic has grown even more after authorities of the Ministry of Public Health in Dajabon, together with other civil and military institutions, reinforced healthy security measures in the face of the increase in COVID-19 cases and respiratory and flu diseases in the neighboring country. In the city of Santo Domingo, the presence of people in vaccination centers has decreased. In the one located in the Juan Pablo Olympic Center, there were less than 10 people on Sunday morning, most of them inoculating the third dose, few for the second. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for listindiario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.